there's definitely a sense of urgency. We are going to try to prevent people from being harmed from extreme weather and, and rising temperatures and falling crop yields. When hardship hits, it always hits the most vulnerable. It's about helping people and making sure that they can breathe clean air and drink water that's not poisoned by lead or chemicals. Real change comes through addressing structural inequities. One of the best things that we can do is provide robust legal protections, is provide regulations that stop large corporations from dumping into the atmosphere, into the oceans, into the rivers. Policy and, and science have a really complicated overlap. A lot of people who are policy experts don't understand the science. A lot of people who are scientists don't understand how to communicate about the policy. Something that ties all of that together is the leadership piece, being able to handle both policy and science together. You need people from the medical school, from the public health school, from the law school, from public policy, from engineering, all together. We all have such a common mission and we all are helping each other together to achieve our respective goals. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Rebel. Rebel is a Brooklyn-born transportation company that is working to electrify cities. We do that by giving our users the ability to rent all electric mopeds in the cities that we operate in and an all electric rideshare program with Tesla Wise. The good news is that the fastest growing part of our economy is the green economy. So we launched our first charging site, which is actually the largest universal and publicly available charging station in North America. We have graduates in the private sector and consulting in work on energy efficiency and renewable energy. Who wants to work for a company where you don't actually believe that what you're doing day in and day out is making the world better? Like it's as simple as that. If you're a company, if you're an organization, if you're a leader of anything right now, you need to be talking about what are you doing now about climate change? What keeps me going is we know what's wrong and we know what's a problem and we know what the solutions are. There are things that we can do. There are ways that we can coordinate. There are policies that we can enact. It might not be happening quick enough, but it's gonna happen.